Hello everyone! Today we are going to tell you one of the most mysterious stories from the internet. Perhaps you have already heard something about the Russian sleep experiment. Today, we will not only tell you the original story, but also investigate its mm -hmm. authenticity. Rest assured, there will be a very shocking revelation at the end of the video. Let's go! The story begins in the late 1940s at a secret Soviet Union testing facility. Five prisoners, deemed enemies of the state, were kept in a sealed gas chamber where they were constantly injected with a special sleep-inhibiting gas to keep them awake for 15 consecutive days. The prisoners were promised that they would be released if they completed the experiment within 30 days. The subjects behaved as usual for the first five days, talking to each other and whispering to the researchers through the one-way glass, although it was noted that their discussions gradually became more and more meaningless. After nine days, one subject began shouting uncontrollably for several hours, while the others did not react in any way to his outburst. The man screamed for so long that he tore his vocal cords and, as a result, lost the ability to speak. When a second man started screaming, the others prevented the researchers from looking inside by sticking torn book pages and their own feces on the windows. Several days passed, but the researchers were still unable to look inside. The scientists used the intercom to see if the subjects were still alive and received a short answer expressing compliance. On day 15, the researchers turned off the stimulant gas and decided to open the cell. The test subjects did not want the gas turned off, fearing they would fall asleep. When they looked inside, the scientists found that four subjects were alive, but they were severely mutilated and had practically gutted themselves by ripping off their flesh and muscle removing several internal abdominal organs and practicing cannibalism. The test subjects vehemently refused to leave the cell and begged the scientists to continue giving the stimulant, killing one soldier and severely injuring another who attempted to remove them from the cell. After they were eventually taken out, all of the subjects revealed extreme strength, unprecedented resistance to drugs and sedatives, the ability to stay alive despite fatal injuries, and a desperate desire to stay awake and receive the stimulant. It was also found that if any of the subjects fell asleep, they would die. After some treatment for severe injuries, three survivors were ready to return to the gas chamber with the stimulant at the command of military officials. Before the chamber was sealed, one of the test subjects fell asleep and died, and the only test subject who could speak shouted to be sealed in the chamber immediately. A KGB officer ordered three researchers to be sealed in the cell along with the two remaining test subjects. One researcher immediately drew his gun, killed the officer and the mute subject by shooting them both in the head. The frightened researcher explained that he would not allow to lock himself in a room with monsters who could no longer be called human. In desperation, he even asked the subject who he was, to which the subject smiled and called himself and the other fallen subjects the inherent evil inside the human mind that is kept in check by the act of sleeping. After a brief pause, the researcher shot the prisoner in the heart, and with his dying breath on the floor, the subject muttered his last words, so nearly free. That's the story, my friends. Now let's get to the bottom of it. First of all, the story mentions a KGB officer, although it supposedly took place in the late 1940s, but the USSR State Security Committee, known as the KGB, was informed until a little later in 1954. Another contradiction is that one of the subjects survived after removing some organs from his abdomen. The thing is, tearing out organs should have instantly resulted in death. Besides, we easily found the original source of the story. It was published on a blog called Rip's Domain in 2009. The author claimed that he didn't invent the story, but that his brother emailed it to him, and he just published it. So we can safely say that the story about the Russian sleep experiment is just another creepy legend. Hey there, folks! We are happy to announce that we have enabled our channel's sponsorship feature. For now, there is only one level available, but it will allow you to become Super Tony's honorary friend. You will get unique badges and different emojis featuring Tony. With them, your comments will stand out and will be featured more often in our videos. In addition, you will have access to unique content, including exclusive information about Tony, as well as curious facts and interesting articles. It costs almost nothing, but your contribution will help Tony grow and become even better. So, if you like what we do, join Super Tony's team right now. Friends, share your thoughts on this mystery story in the comments. 
maybe you've heard something else about this experiment. And of course, leave a like and subscribe if you found it interesting. See you in more unusual episodes of Super Tony. Bye-bye!